All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, preaching this word, truthfully, faithfully, strong, and sincerely for 30 plus years, still going strong through the parish, through the uh, spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. And shalom to the Akim that scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching this word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, uh, preaching this word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And I say shalom to y'all Akim out there. And the title of this lesson is going to be The True Labor Day. And the true labors is a uh, continue to do the work of the Lord. And this is the book of uh, 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 58. Through the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unremovable, always abound in the work of the Lord. For most, for much, as you know that your labor is, your labor is not in vain in the Lord, right? So, you know... Um, you know, this Babylonian uh, custom of uh, Labor Day is coming up Monday, I believe. You know, in the history of that, you know, it goes to uh, the people that, uh, you know, uh, fight, you know, they uh, fight for their labors, you know, and, you know, do work, you know, of hard labor work and stuff like that. You know, that's an American Babylonian culture thing. You know, they fight for their rights, fight for equal pay, you know, fight for, you know, to work hard, you know, get yourself up to the boot scraps and, you know, work hard. That Babylonian, modern day Babylon custom, you know, now, you know, don't get me wrong, you know, because you got to work for, in order to eat, you know, in order to have, you know, food on the table, you know, get your bills paid and everything like that. You know, I understand that. But, you know, the true labors is, you know, doing the work of the Lord. Doing the work of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. So, you know, that's why you got men out there that's on the highways and byways, you know, and scattered through the four corners of the globe, you know, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely and preaching the right and correct doctrine of Yahweh El Shai. Preaching, you know, the true, uh, correct doctrine according to the Holy Scriptures, like how it's supposed to be teach the right and sincere and correct edifying way, you know. So, you know, that's why the, the true labors of the men that's out there uh, week in, week out, in season and out of season, continue to work hard and do the true works and the labors of the Lord, you know. That's why this is all the true riches, the true labors, this the, 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 the true works of hard work and dedication of doing the will and the work of the of the Lord, which is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai, as well, too. And we definitely make sure that uh, our works are in, not in vain. That's why we uh, continue to do the work of the Lord and continue to uh, put our faith and trust in the Lord. You know, and I'm going to bring it out again for edification's sake. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58, and it reads, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unremovable, always in the bound uh, in the work of the Lord. For much as ye know that your vet, your labor is not in vain in the Lord, <coughs> right? So you know, as long as we continue to do what was uh, ordained in order for us to do, still to this day, from generation on and till now, you know, as we continue to do the work of the Lord, you know, just like the prophets. Back then, now you got the prophets are back on the planet Earth, modern day as well too. You know, starting from our elders and apostles of Great Millstone, you know, and the elders in our camp, and and the uh, brotherhood in that order. You know, that's why uh, the men, the true men of the Lord, 
you know, the prophets of the men of the Lord, of Yahweh Yahweh out there uh, doing the work in the will of the Lord, you know, and we know for sure that our works are not in vain, because the Heavenly Father, He knows that He sees these things, you know, He sees that His men are out there uh, fighting for salvation, you know, fishing for the elect, you know, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, keep the high holy days to the best of our ability, and continue to do the will of the work of the Lord to the best of our ability, you know, and keeping the law, statutes, and commandments which was given to us still to this day, and continue to do the will, the power, and the work of the Lord, you know. That's why you see the men out there on the highways and byways, uh, week in and week out, you know, uh, sometimes even other any other every day, you know, they do sit down lessons, uh, continue to read through the scriptures, continue to learn through these scriptures, continue to grow in these scriptures, and continue to uh, do the work of the Lord and tr and put our, uh, our faith and trust in the Lord, continue to do the work of the Lord, continue to labor in the Lord, continue to go forth faithfully, strongly, and sincerely and continue to constantly do the will and work of the Lord you know, make sure our, uh, our works of the Lord is not in vain and we work for that salvation you know we were uh, working hard for that uh, to be in that number fighting for that 144 and these, you know, these are for the righteous men, the true servants, the true prophets of the men of the Lord, Lord willing, every last one of the brothers that's out there on the highways and byways and scattered through the four corners of the globe, Lord willing, they be in that number, you know, that 144, starting with the elders, apostles, of great millstone, who were well for 30 plus years, you know, and we definitely honor their uh, dedication, their hard work, you know. That blood, sweat, and tears to being in this truth, this hard labor. You know, we thank the elders and apostles for that, you know, as we continue to learn from them, you know. And they still going hard and pushing strong forth still to this day. That's why, you know, um, you know, the men of the Lord that's out there the doing the true labors, which is the, uh, the will and the work of the Lord, you know. Because the Heavenly Father, He loves that. He loves that His men out there doing the will of the work of the Lord, you know. Because the Heavenly Father, He, he sees these things, you know. Because like the scripture says, His eyes is brighter than 10, th 10 times brighter than the sun, you know. Because the Heavenly Father, He He, he see our works, you know. He, he see our, our labors that we are uh, doing, you know, through the four corners of the globe. You know, preaching this word, preaching this uh, true doctrine, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And I wanted to be out, uh, bring out another scripture. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 9, and it reads, And let us not be weary in we doing for in due season, and we shall reap. But if we think not right, so long as we continue to do the will of the power and the work and the true labor of the Lord, you know, the Heavenly Father, He sees these things. You know, as long as we continue to be in the good grace of the Heavenly Father, you know, as long as we uh, seek Him more, seek Him more sincerely all the time and much as we can to the best of our ability. And continue to do the work of the Lord, continue to uh, labor in this truth faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. You know, continue to learn, continue to grow in this truth, you know. Especially, you know, for the young, young Akim brothers like Clue and myself, continue to uh, do the work of the Lord, continue to learn from our elders, from the apostles of Great Millstone, continue to learn from our elders in our camp that uh, give us that faith booster to, uh, to help us out to uh, in these works and true labors as they continue to guide us as falsely so you know like how they you know supposed to which they're doing now you know 
you know, as long as we uh, continue to do the will of the work of the Lord and, uh, you know, our labors of works, it's definitely not going to be in vain in the sight of the Lord's eyes, you know, because he, he sees these things. He sees our works. You know, he sees our, our labor. You know, our scribe, our works, and truly and faithfully and strongly and sincerely, you know. And I'm going to bring out another scripture uh, to close it out. This is the book of Philippians, uh, chapter 2, verse 16, and it reads, Holding forth the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Hamashiach, Yahweh that I have not run in vain, neither labor in vain. Right? Because long we continue to hold on fast, for the will, the power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. You know, as long as we continue to uh, do the will and the work of the Lord, like I mentioned before, like two or three times, <laughs> you know. But hey, uh, yeah, as long as we continue, continue to do what we do, you know, continue to uh, do the great works and the true labor, you know, the true labor day, the true uh, works and labors of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh and the Son, Yahweh Shai as well, too. Those are, tr are true labor. Those are the true works, you know. And once we continue to endure to the end, and the saved should be saved, you know, as long as we continue to do our part, which is order for us to do, you know, as long as we continue to labor and be part of the great works, you know, of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh and the Son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, which is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew, you know, as long as we can continue to do the labor and great works, you know, because, you know, that definitely for sure that our, our labor and works is definitely not in vain. Uh, so with that, I'd like to give all praise and glory to, to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash. Uh, double honors to the elders of possible great millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. Shout out to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And uh, shout out to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And I hope this is edifying through the spirit of power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. And you know, once again, hey, this is the true labor. The true labor day, the true labor, and doing the will, the power of grace and mercy of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. Doing the will and, and the work of the Lord with our, with the true labors and true works of the Lord, that that our labors of works from the Lord is not in vain. So with that, I will say Shalom.